gonna go ahead and get straight to the point. I know what you're here for. I know what you want. I know what you want to see. You know, don't pay attention to whatever's going on here. I'm just kind of done. <laughs> already done like my skincare routine as well as using the e.l.f. Glow Stick primer. As usual, I'm just gonna go ahead and post all those products down here at the bottom. So I went ahead and just did this side so you guys just can see the final result for this eyeshadow and how the other eyelid would look like. <laughs> I just prepped it out for you guys. That way we are just a little bit more faster. My Born This Way concealer. Um, just to give it like a little brighter tone that like my natural setting powder wouldn't give it. I'm going to go ahead and use the LA Colors. This white like shimmery. I did get cut some inspiration like from Google and other images. I said like in this video I'm just going to try and just recreate everything create like my own style of eyeshadow but using obviously inspiration but just only using things i already have roll with the punches <laughs> i've explained this before in another video but like in case you haven't watched it so i wanted to point out like it doesn't matter um you know if you see something online and you know you don't want to go out and waste i don't know whatever x amount of money for you to you can always just get creative with your own stuff you guys saw something similar to this and i was like i wonder what i have here i just came up with this and i feel like it looks like super cute and it's kind of like a little winter wonderland thing going on here also i feel like i'm getting like super super sick <clears throat> rona i'm gonna go ahead and use this like old-fashioned little because i will be using this like, from wet n wild brushes it just kind of doesn't mix well old-fashioned sponge that like my mom used to use <laughs> at some point i used to use too because i think i don't think brushes came into style until like for me 2013 this little thing i just figured i kind of just dab it on there and just kind of like take it take it all the way back i don't know why maybe it's just just it retains it more. And then you can just grab a little bit more. Don't get scared. I love doing my makeup in my breakfast table. <laughs> I like the lighting in here. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab the LA Color little trio. Using a little bit of the silver and my face is my master. You just want to kind of... Um, Gently just kind of like mix it in up here. Create just a little bit of a, you know, frosty. Just go back and just give it a little, like a second round, but just try to focus more on the inner. And that way it'll just have more like a fade effect, like in there. And then I'll just try to like, and then just kind of fade it out. With guessed it using my born this way multi sculpting concealer just kind of want to create like that um you know that way you don't get it too much on the blue to me uh, we're just gonna go back and correct everything else so now using laura geller the casual collection palette we're gonna go ahead and use this little, um, just try to dab it on top of the concealer. Makeup is messy, and I think it has to do with uh, all the creams. And so I just went back and just added a little bit more just to kind of like do that contrast. Lastly, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the little multi stick. Like a little like I had mentioned earlier, I did prep my face with the e.l.f. glow with the e.l.f. primer stick. I'm just ready to go for my foundation. The foundation that I'm gonna go ahead and apply is this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Matte. Gravitate to it more these past days because Lani is a little bit more oily, and like I said, my skin is just like a weird mixture. Like some days it's like oily, some days it's not. You know, it's not. So it just really depends on how my skin is feeling that day like if it's already oily enough that i have to like wash it and all that i'm like yeah i'm not i'm not doing milani today i don't want it to be super shiny but this what i love is that it looks it's so matte that it looks natural like the next thing 
next item dun, dun, dun. born this way concealer i'm just gonna be adding it on my dark under circles we are just going to be using this uh wet and wild dual contour stick dark side and then your highlighter side which is like amazing so we can just get everything set on our face on top of my contour i am going to be using my finger and just applying my blush and i'll be using the elf putty blush it looks kind of like that it's like a cream blush my contour brush i'm just gonna go ahead and You know what's like super funny? I have everything in my office slash makeup room like So I'm over here like You know going down the stairs with like everything because I don't I'm too lazy I don't want to take two trips so My palettes fell and then I think I'm left with like minus five eyeshadows yeah. like, That's what you get For refusing to take two trips that's Just because I am too lazy to go upstairs for my Highlighter I'm just gonna be using the Violet Ross Violet Sunset Wear this champagne Gold highlighter, I don't know. Let's try it out, right? And just so we can make it a little bit more like, you know, winter, but also like something you could wear for a holiday, I'm putting on red again. But they were like $3 at Walmart and they do last like about four hours. I'm at lipsticks. I'm not even sure if they're still in style, but I'm still gonna be wearing them. I think it looks pretty pretty cute i don't know what you guys think but just let me know what you guys think down in the comments below this was it for today's video i hope you guys really enjoyed this makeup tutorial i figured i'd just share my ideas with you guys and um help you guys out and deciding what you guys want to wear you know for the upcoming holiday i really really hope you guys enjoyed watching me see you guys next time